it is true that many things have changed for GFMD in the last five years. Um, in terms of our mission, of course, I'm afraid many of the large urgent issues still remain great challenges for all of us. And Mira mentioned some of them, but I would like to add and compliment democracy and freedom of expression is threatened still in many countries sustainability of media is still a big big question mark support for media development from international cooperation and foreign aid is still as media as mira said stagnated Technology continues to drive the whole game and the big digital platforms have all become stronger and more powerful key players in the field. Um, those are huge things that we have to deal with. But pre precisely because we all have those challenges and, and more, um, this network of people and this network of organization is needed more than ever. If I've learned anything from all of you throughout these years, it's to be persistent and, 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 and even headstrong in, in pursuing and not giving up on the goal of having a world where media freedom is a reality and democracy is strong. You all wake up every day and put all your energy and resources in order to achieve this. And because of that, you have my total admiration and respect. The good news, however, is that from the organizational standpoint, from the GFMD, we are in a better shape to contribute to these goals and challenges. As I said, many things have changed in the last five years while I've been the chair of this organization. But I just want to highlight four things that I really believe are important. One is financial stability. We are better off that on, on, on these regards. I really believe that we're providing better services for our members. I really do believe that. Our secretariat is more solid now, and now has a staff of wonderful nine professionals from all over the world. And we are, we really are more influential in the sector. Those, those results really uh, should make us all feel very, very proud. And for me in particular, I really want to thank uh, some names. Uh, so let me take this opportunity to, to say some gracias to different people, several people. Um, first, I, 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 I want to thank Jaime Abello the general director of the Fundacion Gabo, because, you know, I, I worked at the Fundacion Gabo until the end of 19, of 2018. Uh, I was the executive director there. Uh, and I'm not, I, I, I cannot be here if it was not because I was part of that wonderful organization and because of Jaime's trust uh, that he can delegate this task on me. Um, so, for that and for many other things, I really want to thank Jaime. I don't know if he's awake because it's like, I don't know, six in the morning in, in Colombia. I'm not so sure if he's awake, but if you are awake, Jaime, thank you so much. Um, of course, I want to thank the colleagues of the outgoing steering committee. Uh, all of these 18 uh, outstanding members have been absolutely fantastic to interact with. Um, you see them on, on the screen now, but uh, let me mention the names because as I said, I was, I was privileged to be with these people. Cipriam Dinkumana from Panos, Diane Senghor from Panos, West Africa. From CFI, we used to have Laurent Aleri now, we have Thierry and Petra now 
we used to be the part of it. Now we have John, uh, Tiomir Losa, Katerin Miasnikova, Giselle Kuri from Samir Kassir Foundation, Musa Rimawi from Mada, always Aslam Ali from Pakistan Press Foundation, Nesar Patria from Indonesia Press Council, from Latin America, Dennis, Dennis Chabral from the Association of Caribbean Media Workers, Jeannie Burgol from Internews, Leon Morse started as representative of IRIX. Now we have Michael Mirny. And from the previous uh, members, we have uh, the company of a number of people that I really like to thank. Jasper, some of them are here from IMS, James Dean from BBC Media Action, Joyce Barnathan, Ramsey, of course, and the late Janet Mini. Uh, to all of them, really, really, and to all of you present and to all of you watching, thank you, thank you so much. I want to really give a special thanks to my colleagues at the executive committee, you know, the. Besides the steering committee, there is a, a small group, executive committee. Uh, and in the last months, and, and, and we have had John here at my left, John Lublinski and Thierry Vallat. I really want to thank you both. Uh, we have been working a lot these last months with the, the GFMD staff, and it's been a joy to work with you. So, Merci, danke to both of you. Um, I want to thank the previous secretariat before Mira. Ayman, of course, when, when I took over as chair, he was the director. Stephanie Kalaf and Caroline Giroud. Um, that's where we started five years ago, or when, when I took over as chair. Um, so I want to thank them for, for the work. I want to give a special thanks to Leon Williams here, uh, because I took over uh, after he was chair. And, and I really have learned a lot from you, my friend. And uh, I remember just a few months after uh, we went together to the United States. Uh, and to me, that was quite quite the learning experience. So I really want to thank you for, for all that and for your friendship. Um, but of course, the main gracias that I have to give, it goes out to all the members, all the members of GFMD that are here and that are connected online. Uh, it is for you that we have done all what we have, we have done. Um, and I said it before and I'll say it again. To me, to chair this organization has been a privilege, an honor, and, and a professional career highlight. So I couldn't be more happy to have had this opportunity. When, when I came, when I was planning the trip and packing my bags, um, I brought this book. Um, it's the, say the memoirs, I guess, from the publisher of one of the leading news websites in Colombia. It's called La Silla Vacia, The Empty Chair. I'm not going to explain the name. I can explain it later on, but uh, that's what it's called. Uh, and uh, um, the, the publisher, Juanita, is a friend. And, uh, and she gave it to me last year, and I haven't been able to read it. And, and I thought, this is an opportunity to you know, have a 12-hour flight. And I read it, and, and it was incredible, really. Because it really is the struggle of everybody in journalism nowadays. But in particular, her struggle and the struggle of people that are on digital online websites trying to come up with independent media. Um, they have been going on for 10 years. I think they have been very successful in many ways uh, in sustainability, 
and the influence they have. And, and I'm a really admirer of, of their work. But reading this really reminds me that this is what we're here for. You know, it's, it's because of these people that wake up every day. And all of you know what journalism is. It's not every day. It's every hour, 24 hours, seven days a week. Uh, and it's because of these people that it all makes sense to me and that I really appreciate of having this opportunity to have these five years trying to make the best possible under really, really difficult circumstances. So thank you all, really. It's been, it's been quite, quite the right, as Mira said. It's been a privilege for me. It's been in the last year and a half, I've been completely in another task. I've been working with the Colombia's Truth and Reconciliation Commission. And it's been very difficult in, in many ways to do the two things. Uh, I want to say to Mira that I wish I could have done more than I, than I did in the last year and a half, uh, because my time really wasn't it's easy, but it's been really a privilege and an honor. And I and I really want to thank you all and wish you all the best in the challenges that are ahead and whatever I can do to help, even though I'm not directly involved in media anymore as I used to be, I'm gonna be here for you. Thank you so much.